water filtration plants can remove fuzz from the water system with special filters, namely activated carbon and reverse osmosis technologies. Once these chemicals are filtered out, treatment sites are left with a potion of waste concentrated with fizz. If the toxic chemicals are just tossed in a landfill, they will just leach back into the environment. There's a need for a method to get rid of fizz in a way that does not continue to pollute, Brittany Trang, PhD, a co-author of the new study and a reporting fellow at Stat News, said in a call with reporters. This is where her team's approach comes in. A simple chemical solvent could be added to these waste products so they could be disposed of safely. The primary input is sodium hydroxide, also called lye, which is an inexpensive and well-known chemical commonly used in soap making. The other chemical component of this process is called dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO, another commonly used chemical compound. In this case, DMSO would never actually touch the drinking water that is being decontaminated. Nothing about this poses obvious environmental red flags or true deal breakers, especially when you couple that with the fact that you're degrading these pollutants that otherwise will not degrade in the environment, said William Dyktel, PhD, senior author on the study and professor of chemistry at Northwestern University. Fuzz molecules are made up of a string of carbon and fluorine atoms attached together, one of the strongest bonds ever created. The researchers said the sodium hydroxide approach works specifically to break down carboxylates, which make up about 40% of fizz. Not only did the process work on well-known carboxylic compounds like PFOA, but it could also degrade Gen X, a fizz substitute that's often as damaging as fizz. Once the carboxylates disintegrate, fluoride is the only potentially toxic compound left. Fluoride on its own is much less dangerous than any of the fizz, Lohman said. He emphasized that degrading carboxylates alone won't solve the fizz problem. Sulfonates, such as FOS, which also make up 40% of fizz, are even more challenging to break down.